Welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be talking about a programmatic SEO case study um, and how you can essentially go about doing this yourself as well. So I'm going to show you guys um, first of all a few websites that are doing this pretty well and also um, how you can implement it on your website as well. So this is a page on the Ahrefs blog talking about programmatic SEO for uh, beginners. They've got a few different um, websites on here such as nomadlist.com um, and basically it is all to do with programmatic SEO, this blog. Um, very few websites or quite a few um, variety of websites actually uh, do programmatic SEO. You guys might not have actually um, thought about it or even see, um, seen it before but Basically, the process of programmatic SEO is the fact that you have a very similar page targeting a lot of different keywords. So, for example, here, if we take a look at the wise.com website, so if we take a look at this URL, wise.com forward slash US forward slash currency converter, you'll see that there are a load of pages where all they've done is they've just swapped out the other conversion rates. So you've obviously got Euro to Dollar, then you have USD to RMB, which I believe is Chinese uh, Yuan. Um, then you have got Pesos to Dollars. Um, you've got Dollars to Filipino Pesos. So Literally all they've done here is they've just created mass amount of pages covering the topic in its entirety. So if you think there might be, let's say, 60 or 100 different currencies, they've done US dollar to, and then the currency number two, whether it's pounds, dollars, um, Australian dollars, Filipino pesos, etc, etc. Um, one thing that would be interesting to see is if they have got um, if it's the exact same content which it looks like it is um, leading competitors have a dirty little secret they add um, they add leading competitors have a little dirty secret yeah so all they've literally done is they've obviously um, got all of their competitors and stuff <clears throat> one thing that is super interesting as well is that they've also listed another competitor higher than them I don't know if they potentially owned our own world uh, remit but they are comparing that their rates as opposed to other rates so when I say that it's the exact same content it's not um, so like for example here this is in Filipino peso then this one is in CNY which is Chinese uh, one um, and then do, 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 do. They obviously do have the currencies, charts and stuff, and stuff. So they have tried to create as much unique content as you can. Same goes with the Nomad list as well. Um, if we were to take a look at, for example, um, what other town would they have? Edinburgh? Yeah, they do. Right, well, that's... I, I don't know why I sound surprised when they've got every single town, right? But... Um, they have tried to make this as unique as possible. One thing about the Nomad list as well is I believe you can actually um, vote on these. So this is very, very much unique. Um, so for example, the Nomad list is a website to do with um, where digital nomads stay around the world. And it's just ranked all of the, the towns um, around the world from, four, from zero stars or from zero to five. Um, and Chiang Mai is ranked in position number six. Edinburgh is ranked position 592. I'm going to guess it might be because of the weather. Um, actually, it's to do with the cost, too expensive. Um, it is apparently $4,846 per month cost of living, which I don't think that's true. Um, I don't know how he's got to that number, but um, I'm not certain. But as you can see, they, there is a little bit of uniqueness. They've not just um, just changed the page title and then published the page, right? Because all of these scores um, he has or they have um, made unique uh, because the people can essentially um, 
vote on all of these. So then we have got um, what 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 I'm intrigued by is the actual list. I want to see who ranks number one on the list. Um, I'm guessing we can't see that. Okay, but um, that's essentially the digital nomad list that they are famously known for having a page for every single town and city or every single city in the UK that's meant to be good for or also not good for nomads as well and the WISE website as well. Now one thing I want to do is I want to actually show you guys um, the power of um, programmatic SEO as well so if we take a look at overview on here and once it does load there we go WISE is obviously a DR85 website, but if we take a look here, um, they started the programmatic version of their website or the programmatic side of their website in 2021. And as you can see, it's ranking for just over 420,000 keywords and the traffic value is just over $1.9 million. So they're getting approximately 6.1 million um, traffic again that might be a little bit off because of Ahrefs, but um, they are doing very, very well. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to programmatic SEO, I actually have done a video on this before, um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll link it down below. The most important thing is actually finding all of the data points um, for programmatic SEO, right? So, for example, um, if we go back to the digital nomad list here, um, uh, if, if I was to do this page, I might do it a little bit differently, um, but they do have like photos. Um, I can't actually even see the photos section. But for example, they've got the Google map there. Um, they have the total score. They have everything. What you need to be bearing in mind is the more data points you have, the higher chance or the more unique the content gets, right? So if I was to go and recreate this page and all I'm doing is I'm changing out Chiang Mai and this map here to pin drop to an, an, another location every single time. It's not going to be the best content, right? Um, what you actually want to do is, for example, if you have unique images you, um, for every single town and city, then perfect. If you have postcodes, um, if you have the population of Chiang Mai, I don't know if, if he actually... Oh, he doesn't actually mention the population. You might decide to make, uh, mention the population. He's, he, he's, he has went to town when it comes to finding all of these data points, right? So like mentioning how fast the internet is, um, the cost, um, the community score. Again, I, I don't know if he's done this or if it's been a community of people that have essentially voted. It looks like it's like more so a community of people. But that's what I would be looking to do. Um, if I were you guys. And again, same goes with this WISE website as well. Um, if we take a look here, so this is all unique. Um, and then also the brands that essentially can convert your money. So Re Remitly um, is obviously another like WISE competitor. Um, but these actually swap out so if we were to take a look at the Filipino peso then we've got word remit then we've got wise xe western union moneygram ofx um, xzoom paypal so on and so forth so you've got all of those variations um and then obviously you've, you've got the um the top currencies list what would be interesting is yeah so top currencies this gets swapped out per page as well now once you guys have a Google Sheet that is essentially um, got all of your data points, whether you're doing towns, whether you're doing potentially like a lot of SaaS um, websites also do programmatic SEO as well. So that's another thing to um, bear in mind. Like for example, let me see if I can actually find one live on the video. Zero um, accounting uh, alternatives. Let's take a look here. Um, do, 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 do. We actually can take a look here. QuickBooks books versus zero, right? Um, 
and then we have got switch from zero to QuickBooks. There's going to be a variety of different pages like this, um, which will be like switching from another accounting uh, software to QuickBooks. So you've obviously got all of these style pages as well um, that you can essentially create. Now, the good thing about this is that, for example, the unique part about this page would be that the transfer process from Zero to QuickBooks will be different as opposed to, for example, FreshBooks to QuickBooks. And um, there's all of these different accounting softwares as well. So you just need to try and make the content a little bit unique. The days of essentially just blasting out 300 pages, just talking about USD to pounds, USD to euros, and then not having any more uniqueness to the content. They, it's a little bit more um, trickier than that, but it definitely does work still, right? So if we now take a look at a test website that I have launched, um, this is a spreadsheet here. Um, now, for example, I have just done a location and a unique sentence per page. And if we take a look at the actual page here, so this is Altrinum. This is a town um, in... Um, it's just outside of Manchester, it's in the UK, a town in Manchester, or a town just outside of Manchester. But if we take a look here, so back up, or B-A-C-U-P, I don't know how you pronounce it. But again, you've got the unique sentence here, oh, Altrim is known for its picturesque market town and charm, bustling um, artisanal food scene. Then you have got this here, right, so back up nested in Rossendale Valley boasts stunning uh, moorland views and a rich industrial heritage. So that's actually a unique sentence based off of each town. Um, and again, we can take a look at another town as well here. So do, 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 do. if I go to Barnsley. Um, Barnsley is a friendly local. Uh, locals make visitors feel right at home in this South Yorkshire town. Um, I'm not sure if Barnsley is in South Yorkshire, is it? Oh yeah, it is. I didn't know that. Um, but as you can see, it's all um, all unique here. Um, and then SEO intro, Barnsley, welcome to Dash Contractors. This was meant to be like a, a page title. Um, your premier kitchen remodeling experts in Barnsley. Um, so with this tool, if anybody that hasn't checked out, it is called MPG. Um, I believe it is, let's just take a look, MPG plugin um, WordPress. I believe it is $50, I could, I could be wrong in saying that. Um, $100 um, per, for one website, right? Now, um, one thing that this plugin does is when you're setting it all up, so you've got the direct link to source file. I always like to use Google Sheets um, because the more you actually add to this Google Sheets, it's going to essentially create you more pages. So if you were to create, let's say, 60 locations, we only have 21 or 20 at the minute. If you were to create 60 locations, it can live update by going into this sheet. Um, that is the frequency section here. Um, so it's set to pre periodically um, live update. So that's a, that's a really good thing about this plugin. Now, would I say that this is the perfect um, example of a programmatic SEO? Definitely not. You would want to be creating more columns down at the right hand side. Um, and if you can create unique images, if you can create map embeds, YouTube embeds, more data points, we've not even done like any population in here. Um, that will all massively help when it comes to indexing because again, you're trying to make the page as unique and helpful as you possibly can. So that is um, what I would be doing. One other website that I also want to show you guys that not many people know that it's a, it's a programmatic SEO website, which is a bit weird, is uh, Yelp or yellow pages um, in the UK. Is it yellow or yellow pages? Yeah, yellow. Okay, they've, they've renamed. But if we were to do, for example, um, groundwork contractors in the United Kingdom, 
Or actually, we should have just done like Liverpool, right? Liverpool. So if we search here and then duplicate this and then do Manchester, right? So you've got the exact same um, page here um, and the exact same page here, but it, it's just varied to rank for Liverpool as opposed to um, Manchester. Again, not many people, or a lot of people forget about Yell and direct your websites, but they are um, programmatic SEO websites. The only, the unique part to this is that the companies listed on the um, tables, they are the different website, or they're, they're the, excuse me, they're the unique um, content um, on the actual website. So that's one thing to just bear in mind when you are looking at websites like Yelp. Don't just think they have 100% duplicated content because they actually don't. They are serving a purpose. They are actually helpful. Um, just the thing is, is they have got unique um, data points. So for example, the telephone number for VCM Civils Limited is different to these guys. P3, Plant Limited, um, so they are serving a purpose, they have made a unique page, um, but they've just been very smart about it. So that has been my video on programmatic SEO. Um, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below and I'll answer any questions that you guys have. And as always, if you guys want a free 50 minute growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casualdash.com. Thanks.